it's in pain because I'm hungry as hell. And I don't want to do that. So I think for the next two weeks, I'm going to work on satiety. 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 I don't know how to pronounce the word. Satiety. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been like three weeks, maybe a month. I don't know. But I thought I would pop back in and give you a quick update on what I've been up to so far. So I am going to put the movie or the video in there and you should be seeing my actual weight. So I am at about 216.8 in three weeks. So that's 224 minus 216. That is like eight pounds. Oh my God. So that is exactly where I was when I had issues in uh, over the holidays and I was unable to control myself around so much pie and pumpkin and sweet potatoes and I had everything I, I was even like baking cookies like I was doing the most um and I gained I went from 217 November all the way to 234 so it's like a total loss right now of like 18 pounds since I started um January 12th that's incredible, honestly. Um, so what have I been doing? I thought I would tell you guys a little bit like more details about what I'm doing. So the first thing is that I weigh all of my food. If you follow me on Instagram, then you will see that everything that I do is, everything that I eat is weighed. And when I say everything, I mean everything. So for instance, if I am going to have eggs and I'm gonna use butter in the pan, I am going to weigh out the butter because I need to then take that information and put it in my little my fitness pile. And my little fitness pile or my fitness pal, it tells me, it gives me the calories. So for instance, for me, the first thing I usually do honestly is find out how many calories it would take for me to lose about two pounds per week. So for me right now, it's like 1500 calories. So that's where I'm at. On my fitness pal, I have a limit of 1500 calories. So I would take whatever the amount is, put all that information into the MyFitnessPal, and it tells me how much calories, how many, um, how much sodium, how much sugar. It tells me how many carbohydrates, how much protein, which those things I check vigorously. So in the past three weeks, I think I've been between 13 and I would say 1600 calories. So usually if I go over like 1500 calories, then I make sure to do better the next day and keep it as low as possible. Plus, I do some movement. Now, that's what I really wanted to talk to you guys about. I um, I am not in the gym. I do not do vigorous. I have not done vigorous exercise, but I started two days ago. So two days ago, I started doing strength training. So just little stuff, nothing too like heavy, but I, I did start doing like squats and like kicking movements honestly i will link the video that i'm using right now it's like the this walk off 100 pounds it's really good and she she kills the shit out of me and then i did this other where i was just doing like indoor exercises because my kids broke my treadmill so which my treadmill you probably can see in my last video so that's really it. I weigh my food. I make sure that I count my calories. I know that sounds pretty like exhausting for some, but it works. So I'm down, what, eight pounds in three weeks? You can't tell me that doesn't work because it does. So that's what I've been doing. Um, I think going also, also, remember that I told you that I was going to stop the coffee intake well i haven't stopped it completely but i'm literally at one coffee a day plus my creamer has no sugar none i think that has made the difference in me my god like i literally have zero i have my days where i'm craving stuff but i think that the coffee for me was my biggest hindrance usually what i would what i would do before was that i would wake up make my cup of coffee, iron my kids clothes for school, make breakfast, etc., etc. But I don't even do that anymore. Like I don't have a morning coffee until I come back home after dropping everyone off 
at about like nine. Uh, that's and I'm up by like six forty five. So between like six forty five and nine a.m., I don't drink any coffee. And partly it's because I do weigh myself every day, and I want to get an accurate weight. So I just don't have anything until I get home, and then I weigh myself, and then and then I make my coffee and have my breakfast. So that's kind of like it. I weigh myself every day. I drink a gallon of water every single day. I limit my sugar intake. I limit my carbohydrates. Limit meaning I still eat carbs. I just try not to go over like 120 every day. Um, and I don't, I don't have much sugar. I don't have much sodium. And that's about it. I, I think the biggest thing for me is the reduction in sugar, the reduction in carbohydrates, and um, I think that's pretty much it. Honestly, those are the only things that has changed. But I'm super proud of myself. It's It was hard to get rid of sugar. I mean, that's kind of what I was drinking the coffee for, I guess, the sugar. And then I would have a, a coffee at like 6.45 and then I'd have another coffee at nine o'clock or 8 30 and then by about 12 o'clock i'm getting another coffee and then at 3 i'm having another coffee and it's like full of sugar full of it i mean when i say full i mean like i mean like sugar the the grams and the sugar would be like 16 grams three times a day plus the carbohydrates like that was just excessive and i think that was a major roadblock so that's what i recommend for you if find out what is like standing in the way, like what is in the way of you losing this weight, figure that out, take some time with that and then execute it, get rid of it. Even if it takes you like, took me like a good three weeks to get to a point where now I'm not really like depending on coffee four times a day. I had headaches, all of it, but I got through it because losing weight was more important to me so going forward now my goals honestly i'm not gonna lie to you i i find myself sometimes really hungry like I, sometimes even like gassy maybe like you know like my stomach is just like it's in pain because i'm hungry as hell and i don't want to do that so i think for the next two weeks i'm going to work on satiety 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 Satiety, 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 satiety. I don't know how to pronounce the word, satiety. Yeah, I'm gonna get like a fiber supplement. If I do, I will definitely give you guys information on that. I, it will most likely be like a fiber supplement. I do know that this week I did implement um, a hemp protein, which has a lot of fiber in it. So hopefully with this implementation, I'll be able to feel more full because I'm, I'm noticing that I'm feeling a little bit hungry at the end of the day. And it could be because I started working out these last two days. Um, I think that could be it. Hmm. Gotta see. Yeah, so if I am gonna start working out and being a little bit more like vigorous working out, I think that I need to, if not add something, another item to eat or increase my calories. Because I think the number one thing for me, especially with working out, is building strength. I don't want to lose weight really, really fast and then be like, and then look like I lost weight really, really fast, you know, like and be like, I don't, I don't want to say it. I mean, because it happens, but I just don't want to look like I lost weight fast and have a lot of loose skin and etc. So for me, it's all about just moderation. So eight pounds, um, eight pounds in what, three weeks? I'm at 216. So the next time I come to you, I should be about 210. I should be 210. And I really hope that you guys are following along and uh, let's just be successful. This has to be the year. Like this has to be the year that we do it. And I was like really, I would usually type out what I'm gonna say. I just felt like I needed to get this out. Just wanted to update you guys a little bit about my weight. So we're going to end it like that, 216.8. Follow me on Instagram, subscribe to my channel. I should have said that in the beginning, but I'm saying it now. Don't forget to subscribe. I am going to try to put out at least 
one video every week or so. And that's it. Thanks, guys. <laughs>